Hi, I'm attorney Joshua Prince, chief counsel at the Firearms Industry Consultant Group, a division of Prince Law Offices, PC. Today I want to discuss an issue that I can say I've never heard anyone talk about previously. And maybe that's in part due to the fact that there are so few attorneys in our industry, especially those that are competent and concentrate or focus their practice on firearms law. That's the issue of seizure or freezing of bank accounts. One issue that is across the board whenever you have any federal agency involved in administering uh, federal law is that when they believe there is a violation of the law, typically the first thing they're going to do is go and get a warrant. That will be generally a sealed warrant, so you won't even be able to see it or read it or know what's in it. And what they will additionally request that judge do is allow them to seize your bank accounts. Of course, this is problematic for you as then you don't have access to money to fight the uh, putative illegal seizure that you may contend occurred or the to fight whether the warrant was properly executed or, or properly issued. So one of the ways in which I've found or suggested to my clients to combat this issue is to keep on uh, retainer with an attorney uh, some amount of money. The reason for that is that they won't be able to seize the attorney's bank account and you will have some money set aside in the event that any issues arise. Now obviously uh, if they, they being the government, can show that that money came from illegal activity they may uh, be able to file an action in the court or a motion uh, to request that that money be turned over to them but it will provide you with a cushion where you will have some money immediately available to you to use in fighting the government. Different law firms are going to handle this in a different way, uh, so it's important that you speak with your attorney and you know what's expected of you and how to go about uh, placing that money into a retainer program where uh, it'll be maintained there. Unfortunately, uh, many states preclude an attorney's escrow account from accruing any type of interest, so you will not have uh, any interest being added to that money uh, that you have on file with the attorney, but at least you know it's there. Additionally, if you ever need that money, uh, again, depending on the agreement you enter into with the law firm, typically uh, that money would be immediately returned to you. So I hope you've liked this video. If so, please click the like button. If you have ideas for other topics uh, that you'd like to see us discuss, please list them below, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.